Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick tour of my Christmas tree just to show you guys what my tree is looking like this year, all lit up and decorated for Christmas. I absolutely love the way the tree came out this year. I think it's absolutely beautiful. My kids actually did the majority of the decorating and they did a fantastic job. It's truly, truly just an amazing job that they did. The tree looks wonderful. And I love it. So as you can probably tell, I have a very traditional Christmas color scheme going on. I have a lot of reds. I have a lot of gold. I have a lot of white and some green. And this has been my traditional color scheme for the last couple of years. And I absolutely love it. I think the colors blend well together. However, I think it would be fun to kind of switch it up and do something different one year. So... If I ever get a second tree, which I'm thinking about, I would love to do maybe like a teal and silver or a blue and silver color scheme, or maybe even like a white, silver, and gold color scheme. I think those colors look really pretty and really modern. But for now, I love my red and gold and green and white. I think it's super pretty. So at the very top, I have my bow that I made and I've been using that as a Christmas tree topper for the last couple of years and I think it looks really pretty and then I had this Santa headband I just decided to stick Santa up here and then the kids thought it would be fun to stick Papa Smurf in the tree and then I have the kids ornaments that I made this is the baby when he was nine months old that's my daughter when she was about three that is my 15 year old when he was around, I don't know, seven or eight. And then this one is my seven year old when he was one. A lot of the bows that are on my tree, I actually handmade myself. So I made this one and these, that's the baby's handprint we made in playgroup made this one as well so there's a lot of diy elements that went into this tree i think the bows add something very festive to the tree they fill in a lot of the bare spots but they don't let the tree look too overcrowded which i love so here's some more now under the tree you can barely tell i have my red and white christmas tree skirt and then a ton of gifts my kids are super blessed this year. All of these gifts, except for three, are for my kids. And all of these gifts are from my mother-in-law, father-in-law, and my grandma. They're super blessed. We don't even have any gifts under there for the kids. My husband and I, we save our gifts for Christmas Eve so the kids can open them on Christmas morning. And the tree's already stuffed full to the brim. So that's this side of the tree. Over here on the other side of the tree, here's a better look at Papa Smurf. And then you have some more of my ornaments, not ornaments, my bows that I made. More bows. And I absolutely love the ornaments on the tree. I have a lot of different ones. So I have some sparkly ones. I have some mixture of sparkly and matte ones some shiny ones, some matte ones. I think it just looks super pretty. And then some more Christmas gifts. In the window, I actually hung a string of twinkling lights, if you can see that. Super pretty. You can actually see it better on the outside. Here are the twinkling lights on the outside. So pretty. Then over here I have my light up wreath. It has two features so sometimes it blinks when the light comes on and off and then sometimes it stays like this where it's just lit up. So I just wanted to show that really quickly. And then here is my beautiful tree again. I 
am so in love with my Christmas tree this year. We kept it simple, but it looks so classic and so beautiful. And I think my kids did an amazing job. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. If you watch this video, thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.